Uh, hello, everybody. This is your weekly installment of Dr. K's uh, seven-minute sermon. I'm going to lead you immediately uh, to a passage of Scripture, which is John 3. Uh, really, for your own reading, I want you to read verses 1 through uh, 15. But I'm going to, for time's sake, uh, read to you two verses, which is uh, verse 3 and verse 5. And this is what Jesus says. A truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And if you go down to verse 5, it says, Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say unto you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit uh, is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. Again, that was verse uh, 7. Will you pray with me? God sent his son, and they call him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. died just to buy my pardon an empty grave is there to prove my Savior he lives dear God we just come to you now thanking you for all the blessings that you have given to us on today. We thank you, dear God, for another day where we're in the land of the living. We ask right now, dear God, that you come by your spirit and just go to all those who may be watching all across the world. It's in Jesus Christ's name that we do pray. Wherever you are, will you say amen. We're well, on today, I want to talk with you from the subject, um, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Uh, today is the birthday of uh, my son, Christian Xavier McClendon McGee. He's 15 years old on today. Today is also the birthday of my mom, Florence Reigns McGee. Uh, she is deceased. And they shared that birthday. And so on today, I'm going to talk about it's your birthday. When you think about your birthday, you should think about happy times. You should think about times when you are getting gifts. You should think about times of sharing with friends and family. You should think about very pleasant times because it's your birthday. You should do things that make you feel special and do special things to celebrate another day of, of being in the land of the living by which you can say, it's my birthday and I'm going to enjoy myself. If you would look at the scripture, this is one of the few times in John and Peter, I believe, that Jesus talks about you must be born again before you can see or you can enter the kingdom of God. That's very important. And what is Jesus saying to us? Jesus wants you to have a not only a biological birthday, but Jesus wants you to have a spiritual birthday, the day in which you came and entered into the spiritual realm with the, the presence, the purpose, and power of God being impacted in your life. When 
were you born again? If you don't know that day, then that's something that you must do in order to call God by the Spirit of God to be born again because you cannot see or enter into the kingdom of God. And when you come to that day where you are born again, you have to celebrate it over and over and over again and share with other people that it's your birthday. This is so important for us because the kingdom of God, I like to say the nation of God, represents the presence, the purpose, the power of God ruling and reigning in our lives. So we need God. But God wants us to celebrate the day that we were born so that other people can see that it's our birthday, if you will, and they may want to have the same type of birthday or the birthday party, if you will, similar to our biological birthday. It's your birthday. So right now, wherever you may be, understand that it may be your biological birthday, but God wants you to have a spiritual birthday on today. And if you do not, you need to confess Jesus Christ, believe that he died for your sins and my sins, and on the third day, he arose again. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for uh, those who are having birthdays biologically and spiritually. We ask, dear God, that you would be with all of us as we know the date that we were born again and we celebrate day after day after day. Dear God, empower us with your Holy Spirit, fill us with your Holy Spirit, and let us know that we are your children by the anointing and the power and the filling up of the Holy Spirit within us. This is our prayer that we pray in the name of Jesus, amen. If you're somewhere, anywhere in the world, please let me know if you were born again on this day or any day soon. This has been, this is Dr. Caleb Willem again. This has been your seven-minute sermon. Be blessed on today.